Okay, for this video, I'm looking at the manipulating WebSocket messages to exploit vulnerabilities lab on portswigger.net. Uh, so I haven't solved this lab yet, uh, but I feel like it's going to be a pretty easy lab to solve. So let's let's get right into it. So this online shop has a live chat feature implemented using WebSockets. Uh, chat messages that you submit there are viewed by a support agent in real time. To solve this lab, use WebSocket to trigger an alert and pop up in support agents browser. Uh, I have taken a look at this lab previously just to you know get a better idea before I made this video and as you can see I was trying to get the alert to come up and uh, one way of doing this is that I want to try and you know basically uh, send an image through uh, the chat which uh, doesn't look like it accepts images and uh, it w there would be an error caused by that and on that error we're gonna display an alert uh, an alert would just say one on the screen. Uh, but in order to do that, we can't do it directly through this uh, chat window right here, or this chat input right here. So we're going to go take a look in Verb Suite, and we are going to manipulate the messages that way. So to do this, uh, you want to open up Verb Suite. Uh, it can be Community Edition. And then we want to go to Intercept, uh, Open Browser. I already have it open right here. Uh, we're going to copy our page. Hopefully this copies correctly. Okay. And okay, it looks like it's from a new session, but that should be all right still. Uh, following this, we're going to do, since we're looking at WebSocket history, just go to WebSockets history, uh, this tab right here. Keep the browser open. Uh, I'm just going to bring it down along with Burp Suite. So we can look at these right next to each other. So let's put in a message like, hey, and see what we get in response. Uh, as you can see, uh, our message is encoded or HTML encoded. So uh, it's not a plain input. Uh, knowing this, uh, it probably means that we can't you know, uh, execute a command or execute code through this input, as we saw when trying to make an alert before. But one way that we can do this is by using Burp Suite and by doing it manually. So to do that, what we're going to want to do is, uh, let's see, we're going to want to grab one of these and just go to send a repeater, uh, open it up in our repeater. Uh, and now that we have it open here, we want to change, hold on. Uh, Okay, here we go. I'm sorry. The server, um, and then open that up in repeater or send to repeater. And once it's here, we're going to want to change message uh, to our little line of code right here uh, to display an alert on the page. And this should work. At least I hope it does. So let's take a look to make sure that's pasted right. Uh, looks as if it is. So. Let's send it to the server. And as you can see, we get an alert. So this kind of shows a vulnerability with WebSockets. And uh, even though stuff's getting uh, HTML encoded or uh, through the actual chat window right here, chat box right here, uh, but we send a WebSocket message through uh, Burp Suite uh, using the repeater tool. Uh, it's not verified or it's not checked or not encoded. So this line of code is literally directly sent to the site, allowing us to execute the code and allowing us to display this alert message. Uh, that's really about it for this problem. I hope that it was helpful and have a good one.